bursting with tears. <sighs> or I was bursting with tears. This meditation. was the most powerful meditation that I have ever had. And I have, have had a lot of powerful meditations that have ch changed me, but this one try my best to explain what this meditation was about. I will try my best, but it will never be words to describe that is on this planet. It is more. It is a feeling is of knowing it is of me being in the situations that I'm about to explain without actually being but knowing that I felt it and their pain but as I go forward uh, I'll explain so you guys can know what I'm talking about but I believe that all my meditations and my healing, my growing as a spiritual being led me to this point. It has been a year you know what, it actually I think in, we're in May I think it actually has been exactly two years that I've been on this spiritual path. I'll explain my story and my experience of this meditation. I started when I, yeah, two years ago when I had a breaking point where I wanted to give up my life and was tired of thinking at that time of who I was, thinking I was not good enough, thinking I was too stupid to live in this earth, that nothing here was going to that I was going to be useful for anything because I was too stupid. I felt like I could not communicate right. I felt like I could not talk how I was expressing who I was in my mind. It could not come out how I wanted it to come out or how I envisioned it in my mind. Words would not come out to express that. So I would get frustrated of myself. <laughs> And thinking, what is wrong with me? Am I retarded? Am I mentally challenged? I don't want to use retarded because that's a term that, yeah, it should not be a term. But I, yeah, it, it took a lot. I had loved ones by my side to really help me not turn into suicide. And I had many times in my life that I wanted to commit suicide. And I'm so thankful and grateful that, that I am here today. And that the universe 
open my heart. I have been molested since I could even remember. Raped. Turned to drugs, alcohol. I felt that was my escape. I found a passion for sports. That was another escape of mine. <sighs> Boxing. I had a dream of becoming pro. I started when I was 13. And had a dream to go pro. Had passion. Gave up drugs. That's how much I loved the sport. Everything else disappeared. <sighs> And then I got molested again by one of my coaches and gave up boxing. Turned back to drugs and alcohol and went through a path that, that just lost me. And again, wanting to commit suicide. Several attempts mentally in a place that I don't want anybody to ever be. The last time I tried is when it changed my life two years ago. <sighs> Went to the doctor, prescribed me anxiety pills, depression pills. And again, that made me feel like something was wrong with me, that I was stupid and thought I was needed to go to a psychiatric home or something. But I did not want to take no pills. I didn't want to suppress things. Nothing was wrong with I felt nothing was wrong with me, but at the same time, I felt that there was. <sighs> My brother, Angel. He really is an angel. <laughs> it showed me about chakras and meditation. And from then on, it has been a journey, spiritual healing, releasing everything that I had inside me that needed to be released, that I was suppressing deep down inside. <sighs> Thank you, Angel. I love you. <sighs> Meditating ever since guided meditation, connecting myself to the universe, to spirits. It is all around us, opening my mind, elevating my consciousness through this spiritual journey. Having amazing meditation sessions that I can't fully explain. It is something that you need to go through and experience yourself. But this meditation here, I figured out what is the purpose. And we are blinded of everything that is around us. Materialism, things, television, things that are keeping us from looking at what's really going on in this world. And we're here thinking it's okay, but it's not okay. This meditation, I felt the pain of all the things that are going on in this world, the rape that these girls are going through that we are unconsciously thinking of. I felt it, the people that have died our native Indian women that have been stolen, raped and killed. I felt it. 
the black community, the society, the things that have, that people are in, ignorant of looking at. There's something going on in this world and I believe that we need to fight together and help humanity and, and open our eyes, elevate our consciousness. No longer will I sit here we all have a voice we all have a passion for something we all are unique and through our uniqueness we can elevate this world and change this new way of living it is time to stand up this experience has definitely open my eyes and I am so grateful that I am here today expressing who I am <laughs> I didn't I never knew I could do this <laughs> my mind was so low and I never would think that I would be here talking to a camera as comfortable as I am right now and yes sometimes I mess up but you know what it's okay it's okay to mess my camera shut shut off, but it's okay to mess up. We are all not perfect, but we all are striving to become better. So today, if I'm not communicating things properly, which a lot of people struggle with, but the more you keep practicing, the more you keep doing, being, you will get there. Step into your greatness. We are all great, powerful, unique. We all have gifts. Let's use them. You know what it is. Get your mind off of what society wants you to be. You're basically being a slave. I was being a slave. Not anymore. Hell no. Not anymore. I'm doing what I love and through the process, through my energy that I put on for what I love because everything is a frequency. Everything is a frequency. You put in your passion and you put all that love, all that energy. Money is energy. You will gain all that back. What you put out will come back in. It's not all about money. It's about passion. Don't let money rule you. Stay humble. Stay you. Meditate. Elevate. Raise your consciousness. I'm loving my dreads, though. <laughs> well, that's all I wanted to say. Live life, live life. Life is beautiful. It's gonna be gone sooner than you know, if you allow it to. So let's enjoy what we have and let's raise humanity in a positive way. Accept everything, negative and positive. Nothing holds you down. You are a light, you are love, and that is it. Don't let nothing get to you. We are powerful. Let's come together and change this world. I love you. <laughs>